Bernardo Osuna alongside Timothy Bradley and Andre Ward. This is a scheduled eight rounder from the Mexican capital. And it's great to have boxing back in Mexico. The city of Mexico has yet to open up, or the capital city has yet to open up, but boxing has been allowed to restart and they've taken extreme security and health measures just like we have in our bubble in Las Vegas. This bubble in Mexico City is just as secure. Sanchez in the all-white trunks, Alan Pina in the black trunks trimmed in white. You see, that's exactly where Pina wants to be. He wants to be inside the trenches, in the kitchen. He wants to get in the inside. And why not against a tall, linky fighter like Sanchez? But if he comes behind the jab, he'll make things easy for himself. Sanchez is riding a fight, fight win streak, while Gustavo Alan Pina, you know, his opponents, not very high quality until this one, because Sanchez comes in with 14 wins, as many as Pina's last three opponents combined. So this is a big step up for mm. Gustavo Alan Pina. Sanchez has good head movement along the ropes, but Alan Pina is a guy who likes to come forward. Nice counter yeah, right there by Sanchez. Yeah, Sanchez is a counter puncher. He'll wait, he'll wait on Pina to make a mistake and then try to make him pay. Just like there, you saw Pina walking in and was hit with the right hand. It looks like the hand, the tape on the boxing glove got a little loose here. Very early on for that to happen. Usually you see that, you know, six, seven rounds in when the glove is wet, the sweat has uh, kind of messed with the uh, adhesive on the, on the tape. But here we are, round one of a scheduled eight rounder and already issues with the uh, tape on it. Rapinha's thrown a lot of leather in this first round already, Bernardo, in this first two minutes of the first round. Pina trying to walk down Sanchez, and Sanchez content to be the counter puncher as he was right there. Taking one shot out there at a time. Pena's trying to take full advantage of this small ring tonight. Pressure, pressure, pressure. I was thinking the exact same thing. I'm like, if the first two guys didn't take advantage of it, Sanchez and Pina definitely are, with Allen Pina getting dropped here at the end of round number one. Cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho. Camina. He's good at the count of eight. Round two of a scheduled eight rounder here on Top Rank Boxing on ESPN alongside Timothy Bradley, Andre Ward, Mark Kriegel, I'm Bernardo Osuna. Sanchez and Pina with Gustavo Alan Pina in the black trunks trimmed in white. Went down in round one and he gets caught once again with a solid right and a flurry. And then it's Sanchez who goes down on a slip. Got a little over anxious there when he hurt Pina again. Uh, Sanchez smells blood. He knows he's hurting Pina and he's going for it right now. It's the left hook for Sanchez Pina that keeps landing on the money is because right. Pina's over aggressive. He's leaning over his feet, and Sanchez is doing the right thing. He's being patient for that half second, and he's landing clean shots, and that was the shot that put Pena down. Pena means pineapple. Colada means that it's a strainer, and his defense is like a strainer because Sanchez is going right through with those punches. Sanchez is starting to get a little bit more confidence. You see him, who was the counter puncher in the first round, now standing his ground just a little bit because he knows that he can hurt Pena with, with both hands. And then you see Pena on the he outside now moving his head, trying to make himself win. elusive. If Pena has five knockouts in his eight wins, so he's got a little bit of pop. Sanchez has eight knockouts in his 14 wins out of Oaxaca. 
in the southern part of the country. But he's as strong as they come, and he's trying to just catch Alan Pina as he overcommits. Now Pina switches to the southpaw stance, trying to give him a different look. Left hook to the eardrum of Alan Pina. So Sanchez being able to connect with both hands efficiently. Yeah, Pina gotta be Pina gotta be careful in there. You know, he gotta throw some feints. He gotta let some of those punches fly by him first before he attacks. He's coming straight in through the front door, and that's why he's making himself available for those hooks of Sanchez. see the looping left hand from Sanchez. Not quite Sal Sanchez, one of the great Mexican legends here as round two comes to an end. This is a scheduled eight rounder with a good start for Sergio Sanchez here in the first two. Mm, nice check. Bernardo soon alongside Timothy Bradley and Andre. Oh, oh, nice left oh, hook oh, and down oh, goes Pina. This fight is done. What a shot. <laughs> Impressive left hook from Sergio Sanchez. Chirino who just that caught Salvador Pina coming in and he said night night. Leaning forward over that knee. Just like Drake called, and was timed perfectly with an uppercut from Sanchez. Who? Who? Wow. Here's the replay. Mm. Just a beautiful uppercut right there. That left hand had been working over the top, but then he, you, Sanchez turned it underneath right there and just froze Pena, and he was knocked out cold before he hit the ground. Just a beautiful half hook, half uppercut, and it landed right on the chin, and, and Pena went out. You know, I, I hope Pena's all right, man. You know, that was a that was a that was a dangerous punch right there. And Pena kind of he didn't see it coming. That's the reason why it hurt him so much. He did not see and expect that uppercut, a short uppercut, half hook, half uppercut from Sanchez. Wow, I just hope he's all right. Yeah, that's why. Just like Drake said, he hook. was. At, oh my goodness. I think the Perfectly reason why that time so punch. clean, fellas. That was landed clean because the, the left hook over the top had been landing. And then all of a sudden, Sanchez surprised Pena and said, okay, I'm going to bring it underneath where you can't see it. And he landed clean. And that's the shot, like we all know, the one that you don't see is the one that can leave you like that. I hope the young man is okay. Fortunately, he's sitting up. That's, that's a good always sign. always a good sign. And, yes, you it know, it's, it's mostly the times you take accumulation of punches that, that end up hurt. And now we see him getting up and... Everyone who is in the arena clapping for him and his opponent, Sergio Sanchez, comes over to check on his vanquished foe. But wow, what a finish from Sergio Sanchez, who improves to 15-1, and one, nine knockouts. And it wasn't a lot of punches, but it was effective punches. 111 thrown by Sergio Sanchez. That is 31 more than his opponent. Landed 20 more at a 12% efficiency clip higher than the 21% that Gustavo Alan Piña had. In terms of body shots, it was 8-3, to three, but it was that left uppercut with which he said good night as Chirino takes the victory. Sergio Sanchez, 15 wins, 9 knockouts out of Oaxaca, Mexico. What an impressive finish we saw tonight from him. And uh, when you see that type of knockout, I mean, that's a highlight reel. That was nasty. You know, that, that was nasty. That was a perfectly placed punch at the right time. He saw him lean down. He saw the punch, and he knew he was going to throw it, and he landed it perfectly. This is just one of those situations where you're just glad the kid got up because when yeah. that type of thing happens in the ring, we all love explosive knockouts, but oh wow, goodness. that was impressive. And that's the dangerous part, when he bounces off the mat. 
And did you see the, the sweat bounce off his head, how it flew up in the air, that snap from that uppercut? Whew. Beautiful snap. It's always uppercut. a scary sight when you see a fighter, no matter how long you've been around the ring, when you see somebody get iced or frozen like that, it's a scary, scary thing. And, and of course, you always hope that they get up and they're okay. The second man from the left, you might recognize him. Julio Cesar Chavez had a vicious left hook and a brutal uppercut. Here we go with the official time of the knockout. Damas y caballeros, la casa del boxeo anuncia el resultado oficial de esta pelea. El ganador por knockout efectivo a los seis segundos del tercer round. Él es Sergio Alfredo Chirino Sánchez. Six seconds into the round number three. Sergio Chirino Sánchez with the impressive victory. We'll remember this kid as he moves forward and he gets that special medal for his win. We'll be right back.